Hi, welcome to How to Repair. In this video, we'll be looking at a fan of an element that has two variations. We'll be doing a 360 rotational view of the element with all the measurements so you can make sure it fits your appliance. And we'll also be doing the test procedure on your old element so you know what the ohms reading should be. I actually make these videos to actually get away from all the confusion there is when people are purchasing fan oven elements. This video is to do with two part numbers, 80198, which is the four terminal version, and this fits eight brands and over 573 models. C000 84399 actually fits eight brands and over 1031 models. This element has only two terminals, one on the live and one on the neutral. This is why it's highly confusing when people purchase elements and you need to make sure that your element is either the two terminal type or the four terminal type. The links to these will be in the description. Now, the overall length of the element is approximately 190 millimeters. This is from the base of the plate down to the end of the element. Now, the internal diameter of the element is 180 millimeters. This is the area where your fan blade sits in between, and it's important to make sure that you get the right element. Now, we'll go down to the two mounting points on the actual mounting plate, and there is a secondary uh, mounting at the bottom of the element. Now, as you can see here, we have terminal centers of 22 millimeter. The terminal lengths are 55 millimeter. The plate measures 22 millimeter by 70 millimeter, and the mounting hole centers on the plate are 60 millimeters apart at the center. This element is a 2000 watt element, and I will show you the ohms reading in a second, and has many alternative part numbers. The most important thing to understand is it's either a two terminal version or the four terminal version. And as I said, I will put links to fitting videos and also the two elements in the description below. Both part numbers 80198 and C000 the two terminal and the four terminal versions will both have the same reading. Now the plate on this is actually rated at 240 volts, so we will actually do a continuity reading, which we have continuity, which means it's a good element, and we also have an ohms reading of 27.9. This means at 240 volts, this is giving us approximately 2 kilowatt of power. If your element has not got those readings, you will need to replace it. Now, if your element is tripping the electricity supply, meaning it's going to earth, which is the central terminal, and this is quite a large central terminal compared to a lot of fan oven elements, therefore you will need a mega or insulation tester to be able to test this. Elements only become faulty for two reasons. The first reason is an element may have earth leakage, meaning that you are tripping the RCD supply in the house when you turn the cooker on. The second reason is an element may go open circuit, meaning it's no longer able to produce heat. Now, if your element goes on a regular basis, every six months or so, you want to make sure that you have checked the fan motor as well. Because if the fan motor is not running at the correct speed, the element might get too hot in one location and cause it to burn out. If you're still having trouble finding the correct element for your cooker or oven, enter the brand and the model number into the search facility at the website. If that doesn't work, go to the contact us page at the website, fill out your brand, model and serial number, and the type of part you're looking for or the fault you have that you need assistance with. Thanks very much indeed for watching this video. I hope you found it helpful.